Hi. Um, so the budget before you for the 1920 school year is an increase of $13,528 or 0.38% over the 1819 voted budget. I'm on the first page of the packet. In addition to the operating budget, the warrant, the warrant articles will include an article for $25,000 for the purpose of replacing windows in the gym. Article 5 is an article for $25,000 for the purpose of replacing the school's heating system. This won't cover the entire estimated cost, but the board will cover the remaining costs through the current budget and or the expendable trust. Article 6 is similar to an article from last year. It's proposing to raise $50,000 to put into the school safety, security, and facilities maintenance expendable trust fund. And Article 7 is the same article from last year that proposes to raise 35000 to be placed in the Special Education Expendable Trust Fund with up to 15000 of that to be funded from the end-of-year fund balance. Um, the second page shows a pie graph of the budget. You can see that salaries and benefits are the majority of the budget. And if I'm going too fast, let me know. The next page is a breakdown of that pie chart. The green page is the estimated revenues for the district. And on the back of the green page is an explanation of what does this mean for my tax bill. And it shows the uh, expense change, the estimated revenue changes, and how much it would be per 100000 if all of the warrant articles passed by warrant article. Thank you. The purple page is just another representation of the budget and it includes staffing per function, so all the teachers for regular ed, special ed, etc. The orange section is a function and object code representation of the budget. The yellow page pages are the draft warrant articles. And then it's kind of a gray page. It's the default budget worksheet. And in accordance with the new laws regarding default budget, I've included it here for, it also shows explanations for the increases and decreases. And please note that the, the default bar budget is higher than the proposed budget by $2,508. If you turn to the blue page, I would like to uh, dis uh, at least put out for discussion and notice that these are contracts that the school district has entered into and leases or that they will enter into. And because of the new default budget laws, uh, it's important that you understand what contracts that we've entered into so that in the future, next year's default uh, operating budget, should this year's operating budget pass, you are in agreeing to uh, support those contractual obligations. The most important one I would like you to notice is with uh, transportation. We have entered into a new contract with Durham Transportation Services, that used to be Robertson's, uh, for regular student transportation. And because of the, the new laws, we could not include the increase of the first year of the contract in the default budget. Uh, so I'd like you to be aware that year two of the, of the contract, it will increase by 3%, and year three, it will increase by 3% as well. This first year, it increased by 10% uh, because of the changes of ownership and the increased cost in transportation over time. Uh, but that number was not included in the default. I'd also like to make you aware that the district does have a capital improvement plan. We use that in order to plan for needed maintenance and improvements for our building. The plan projects forward 10 years and it is attached to this packet and it's designed to smooth out the impact on the budget through contributions to the expendable trust fund. 
Does anybody have any questions? I know that was quick, but uh, um, Trish, certainly. The, on the back of the transportation, mm -hmm. that, that's the same company that changed ownership, but that's the one we've always used. Correct. We haven't looked at, it at any other companies. That is our closest one. It is our closest one. Oh, okay. Certainly. I have kind of a silly question. Um, with the New Hampshire lotto, you always hear they're always saying, oh, well, we give so much of our profits to schools. And I'm just curious, has the Ashton School seen anything from the, I mean, I'm not saying it's fine, it's extremely bad. They always advertise that. I'm not really sure how um, that money trickles down to the Department of Education. The only money that is specifically earmarked is Kino money and that is for kindergarten aid, which um, we receive uh, this year 26350 and I have an estimate for the same amount for next year. And that's on your green page. And that's on your green page. Okay. All right. Thank you. Certainly. I'm just kind of curious. Mm-hmm. Does Kino in the whole state or the whole state? Correct. Um, Trish, I just want to make sure that everybody knows they can get these packets at the town office, at the school. I see there are numerous ones printed. So, you know, if anyone has questions about us going through blue and yellow pages, definitely stop and pick up a packet before the deliberative session. Um, I guess my other thing was, so your budget just so people know, is less than your default budget. Correct. Um, I just want people to make sure they caught that also. Thank That's you. That's correct, yes. Are there any other questions? Thank you, Trish. You're welcome. Um, the budget committee has not recommended uh, not recommended the Warren articles, so we can do that now, so that that will be done. Choose the following district officers. Is there a motion to recommend? You're not going to do that? I mean, we can do it. We don't have to, but we can if you want. You don't want to? Okay. Article 2. I'll move article 2. Is there a second? Second. The same as last year. So yeah. And years before. Okay. Motion has been made by David Rule to recommend Article 2. Seconded by Eli Badger. All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? No. Oh. Article 3 would have been 6 to 0. Yeah, 6. Yeah, I heard. Article 3, the operating budget. Do I have a motion? Okay, motion has been made by Sherry, seconded by Sandra, to recommend Article 3. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay, motion carries, 6 to 0. Article 4, shall the Ashton School District vote to raise and appropriate 25000 for the purpose of the replacement of the gym windows? So moved. Motion made by David Rule to recommend Article 4, seconded by Eli Badger. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Six to zero. Article 5, shall the Ashland School District vote to raise and appropriate 25000 for the purpose of the replacement of the school heating system? Do I have a motion? I make 
Motion is made by Harold to recommend. Is there a second? Seconded by Sandra. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Six to zero. Article six. Shall the Ashland School District vote to raise and appropriate 50000 to be placed in the previously established school safety, security, and facilities maintenance expendable trust fund? Motion made by David Rule to recommend. Do I have a second? I'll second. Seconded by Sandra Coleman. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Six to zero. Motion carries. Article 7. Shall the school district vote to raise and appropriate 35000 to be placed in the previously established special education trust fund? with up to 15000 to be funded from the June 30th, 2019 unreserved fund balance available for transfer on July 1st, 2019, the balance to come from the general taxation. Do I have a motion? So moved. Motion made by Eli Badger to recommend Article 7, seconded by David Rule. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Six to zero. Okay, there being no other business, I will close the Ashland School District public hearing. Thank you. Thank you. Close the town public hearing to order at 6.30 p.m. Does everybody in the audience have a budget? <laughs> yeah. I just want to say I think the uh, select board and the town administrator did an excellent job this year with the budget. If you look, uh, they were really very careful about increasing anything. So. They did an excellent job. Um, I'm not really going to go line by line. Uh, if you look at the front page, starting with the executive, um, are there any questions on anything particular? If you notice, um, the Board of Selectmen budget is lower than the Budget Committee's budget. And the reason for that is part of that is because um, the library, we gave the library a raise because they have been getting like 25 cents per hour. They just, you know, at where they should be. And uh, so we gave them a raise. So that's the difference for that. Fran, you're the chairman of the board. Do you have anything you'd like to say? So I don't think so, Jeanette, but I appreciate your comments. Yeah, we are. Well, it is. You did a good job. Thank you. Uh, You're very you know, we're very much aware uh, of the tax impact this year. Um, so we try very hard to cut, especially the, the capital reserve warrant articles for the road. And, and uh, so yeah, forth. we noticed that. Yeah. Um, didn't want them to go away, but uh, we wanted to keep funding them. But we had to had to make some cuts this you, year. That's so, the thing. You had to cut yeah, somewhere. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Fran. Yeah. Bobby? I'll just speak up. Um, you can use the microphone. We've got another. Uh, is the parentheses number meaning that the budget went down? Is that what the numbers in the parentheses mean? Bob? Yes. What does that mean? Where are you, Bobby? Four lines down on the front page. Oh. Property taxation. Yes. Minus, is, does that mean a negative it went down? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, Bobby, what we did there, do you want me to answer? Go ahead, Charlie. What we did there is we reduced it, but uh, we are asking for the town to approve a capital reserve fund uh, or establish a capital reserve fund for when we have to do the revaluation. Since we did the reval this year, uh, we, we reduced it. So, this is, this is the line where you pay the. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, technically, it's a. 
$13,000 reduction in the budget. Well, because we're asking for to establish the uh, reval capital reserve fund at twenty thousand. And you'll notice the legal line was increased by five thousand. The town um, has, um, I think, two cases still pending, so it's going to cost quite a bit of money. So that's only an increase of five thousand to twenty thousand. Probably won't even cover it. Sherry. Um, yes, I, I want to compliment you on dropping your capital reserve funds, but I also want to bring attention to the new one that is the twenty thousand dollar capital reserve fund. Is it 19? I'm looking through here real quick, and I'm like, so, you know, yes, kudos to everybody for taking their budget and taking a few bucks out, but there's an extra capital reserve fund for the $20,000. It's not 19. It's 20. Yeah, it's 19. Yeah, it is 19. Oh, I thought that's with the assessment. No, wasn't that yes. for lawyer fees? That was a backup lawyer fee, I believe. The mm -hmm. town administrator told us at our meeting. It's, now this is the assessment. Nineteen is for assessment. Nineteen is for yeah. That's not All assessment. right. So what's the other one? Twenty-four. Sorry, twenty-four. I was trying to find it, and I'm sorry. I think you're probably referring to uh, Article 24, Sherry. The yeah, the contingency yeah, I'm sorry. fund. Yeah. yeah. Um, as Jeanette said, um, our legal line, we we put it up, and we know with two cases pending, we're going to go way over, and um, so that's why we put this one in. It's going to be a tough year for legal yep, expenses. And I, and I understand that. I just want to bring that to the voters' attention because. Uh, the budget committee vote was three to three. Okay. Um, I w was opposed of that because mm -hmm. I think people should be a little more responsible, I guess. Um, but that's my personal opinion. Mm -hmm. that's um, sure. But I, want, I wanted to bring that to people's mm -hmm. attention, but good job cutting the other ones, the other capital reserve funds. Thank you. Bobby? Correct. It says for unexpected expenses, I believe. Mm -hmm. Unanticipated expenses. I would only know that people from at the session Well, we had talked to Charlie about that because at our budget meeting, Charlie had said some of that would probably be used for legal. So we had talked to Charlie, I think that should be explained that, you know, where they do have the two cases pending, that some of this will probably be used for legal. I mean, I think the townspeople, you know, should know that. Absolutely. Yeah, and I'll add that there's no taxation on that article. It's because the request is to take it out of the unassigned fund balance. And I had asked the question, is, has it been approved by DRA? And Charlie said, yes, it had. Well, yeah, I mean, you, you have the authority to take from your own on a sun fine balance. But you said that DRA saw the Warren article. Yeah, well, DRA approves all the articles. That's right. Yeah. 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 There wasn't a question about this one. No. Right? No. 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 You're welcome. Um, 
the land use board, you'll notice that that was an increase. Um, myself, I was against it for two or three years now, and then I check with other towns. And there's a lot of paperwork that has to be done. And not only does it take time to do the paperwork, but all of the legality of it. So they really need someone that knows what they're doing and can fill out the paperwork correctly. And we have some of that So that... Bobby? If you mention land use board, does that mean you have a person that... Yes, they have a person now that's Dr. working for the town. Dr. Marsh. Okay. Sherry? Um, not to jump all over the place, but Article 2, when you had your... Um, public hearing the other night and people were asking the question about the tax impact yeah. no tax impact um, do you have those numbers now I, I know that you said that you emailed them to everybody I don't check my email every other couple of days yeah okay uh, so the request on this article is for the Board of Selectmen to enter into a negotiation for a bond to pay for this project. The reason why I bring that up is because uh, the financing of the project would be through uh, NHDES in their state revolving fund. State revolving fund has uh, five, let's see, one, two, three, four, five different options, I guess you can say, that you can enter. A five-year, 10-year, 15-year, 20-year, and 30-year uh, bond. In each one of those, the rates uh, uh, run from 2% on the five year up to 2.704% uh, on the 30 year. Okay, so the longer it is, the rate goes up. Now, the tax impact, which is just an estimation, uh, in the way this cal is calculated is you take the, uh, the appropriation divided into uh, the town's total assessed value uh, and then multiply it by a thousand. Okay, because it's based off of every thousands value of the property. So on the low, on the if we did a short term five year, the estimated tax impact would be a dollar nine, uh, up to a thirty year, which would be twenty five cents. The appropriation on a five year is two hundred sixty eight thousand. On a thirty year, it's uh, sixty two thousand. Like given the thought as to how long this bond period is looking at? No. It won't be five years, and I, and I probably won't be 30. Um, you know, you're building a 20-year road, so I don't think you're going to get a 30-year, and five years, obviously, too expensive in terms of, of annual payments. So, you know, I, I can only give you my personal opinion. We'd probably be looking at 10 to 15 years. That's just my opinion. We have not discussed it. Uh, As Charlie said, we're going to go into negotiations. So Charlie, where it says a dollar nine tax impact for the five year, is that a dollar nine for the whole five years or a dollar nine every year? Well, it would be a dollar nine that year based on the two hundred forty-five thousand, or sorry, two hundred forty-five million valuation. That that valuation goes up, the rate goes down. You know, and this is also under the assumption that the selectmen aren't going to use any of the block grant to pay it down, because last year we considered using the revenue from the block grant that would even lower this. So for a ten-year uh, for a ten-year uh, loan, it would be fifty-seven cents, mm -hmm. and for a fifteen-year loan, it'd be forty-two cents. So mm -hmm. it would be somewhere in that vicinity, probably. Yes. Uh, well, again, we have to take all kinds of things. And David, like, like Charlie said, if we're using the mm -hmm. block grant, and that yeah. would reduce the amount. Mm -hmm. uh, depends on the, the evaluation of the town at the time. You know, it's really hard to pin it down. Um, we're going to get the best rate we can and the best terms we can with the least impact that we can <laughs> to get this done. It, you know, it's, it's uh, a lot of moving parts at this point. Any other questions? Bobby? Charlie, when you said a dollar nine, is that a dollar nine per hundred thousand? Per thousand. Per thousand. Per thousand. Per thousand. Per, per thousand of your value of your property. Okay.
<laughs> Any other questions? Bobby? I have a question on the revenue page. Yeah, it's primarily uh, Parks and Rec. Sandra? Oh, I, I, well, I'd like to go back to two. Is that I had mentioned that um, no one has talked with the electric department as far as, you know, this moving of old seasons. And I don't know Sandra, do And I don't know whether or not this figure has taken into consideration that it's going to be a considerable amount of money. Yeah, I don't believe it. Ha I, I don't believe it has. What, it wasn't really a question. She was just saying that um, the electric department had not been contacted for Article 2 and that it she believes it's going to be quite a bit of money, so she was wondering if it was included in the $1,799,420, and Charlie said no, he believed it wasn't. Right, Charlie? Yes. Uh, is that right, yeah. what you asked? The reason being is, uh, as us, we are unique, obviously, with town that has our own electric department. Uh, in most towns, the expectations are with these projects are the utility companies move the poles. It's actually a state requirement being since the fact that the town has the right of way, uh, it's an expectation. Well, even if it is an ex expectation, out of respect, I believe someone, either the town administrator or the board, yeah. should have contacted the electric department. Well, we have. I had sent the, uh, at least the prior superintendent, uh, the list that the engineers uh, actually located all of the utility poles that needed to be moved. But you didn't contact any of the commissioners. So are you yeah. trying to tell me you want me to increase the bond? to? That, well, what she's uh, saying, if that figure result. for the electric is not included in that bond, then it's logical that, yes, you should increase the amount if the electric department is going to be charging for, to do that. That is, that is going to be a considerable amount of money to, to, move, to move all those poles and to, do, to contact legal for new easements. And this was done years ago, you know, so I know that we're talking about a couple of hundred thousand dollars. That is a lot of money. So if you have what, Charlie, till January 28th to get these Warren articles all done? Maybe, uh, maybe you'd like to, you know, hold a meeting with the board and just see what this a lot for I mean, if we'll it, take that all I'm saying is, I, I just, I, I mean, I think Sanders correct. If that amount is not in Article 2, then something's wrong. And, you know, I'm only going by when I was not on the board for the select board or even a commissioner for the electric department. But if I go back a number of years ago, even then, it was a couple of hundred thousand dollars to move poles and to um, contact legal and easements. And um, that's probably more now than it was years ago. Are there any other questions, Sherry? 
So we know now that this is probably this bond or whatever, this project will cost us more than we're expecting. But Charlie, you said something that you contacted the previous superintendent. Our new superintendent has been there for at least a year. So you... I can't control what happens in that department. This project has been on the radar for three years. I, I have said so. That, I'm but communication between departments. <laughs> Sherry, just a minute. If Charlie's talking, just please wait, and then you can talk. And Charlie won't talk when you're talking. Right. Okay. Go ahead, Charlie. I, I can't control what information is distributed to the electric department. They've known about it for over three years. We've had this has been on the radar since 2015. And yeah, and mm -hmm. All right, I just I, I wish that we had a little more communication between departments. It would be nice. When you say that it's you know been the last three years, is this so? This warrant article has been on. The warrant for the last two years, this but it, is the third year. this is the, but it has not passed. That's right. right. It needs sixty percent. That's why it hasn't passed. So if it's not passed in the last two years, you're going to use all that was done three years ago with the engineers who did this three years ago. No updates. It's the no. same engineering plan. The only thing that's changed is the financing. The first year we didn't have the state revolving fund, so it was much higher. Mm -hmm. But the engineering is established, uh, was established three years ago, and that's good for what five years, Charlie. So that has not changed. I guess probably the reason that we weren't told about it, as far as the commissioners, was because it didn't pass. I don't. I I am not aware that. What you gave to the previous superintendent three years or three years ago, when the first warrant came out, I'm I'm not aware of that today. So that happened, you know, when these articles were not passed in the past yes. two years. Sherry. And I guess that was kind of my point. This article has come up every year for the last couple of years. I would have assumed that each year you would have contacted each department and, you know, talked to them and communicated with the elected department and said we're going back for this bond. This is our new proposal. Because this isn't the original wording. We have changed some of the wording in this proposal over the last few years. So I guess I, I guess my point was if you're going to address it every year, if it doesn't pass, you might want to think about talking to the electric company because they're going to have a cost also to do the polls. And that's not included here as I understand. Yes? It's not included in this. Okay. Just, that, it's just trying to you know, clarify, because there is an added cost. Again, we had many public hearings. The engineers presented all kinds of information, and the electric department was well aware of that three years ago. And you know, I I, I hear what you're saying, but but th there's nothing new here. The only wording that's changed has to do with the financing. That's the only things that we've changed is how to finance it. Anybody else? Any other questions? Alice, you weren't here, but we were discussing Article 2. Okay, thank you. Uh, we've kind of gone through just about the whole budget, I think. There aren't any really big increases, and before you came, Alice, I had just said what an excellent job the select board did this year on the budget, that it wasn't easy and they did an excellent job. Kathleen? Just to reiterate what oh, Katie said, uh, that when Novus gave their presentation, 
their engineering presentation, which was back in 2015, I believe, because Norm was still chair of the board. There was a full presentation, and all the utilities were present. Conservation Commission got a full package of the plans, and I recall Mr. Nichols also was present, and he received the full package. Part of the problem is, as in any department when there's a transition, things fall through the crack. And I think we all need to recognize that sometimes this is what happens when we don't have, when we don't have overlap with, and continuity with certain things. It's not because somebody was being excluded. It's, it's what happens when we have a turnover in commissioners and super, supervisors, select board members, chairs, town administrators. Because Charlie was not on board back when this started. And if I can add one more thing, I mean, it just because those costs weren't added doesn't mean that this project can't move forward. I think within the financing of this, there is some flexibility that we might be able to work if it's an added cost to the electric department. I mean, let's not forget that we are asking for 1.79 million. Uh, from the state revolving fund, and they are giving us a 10% principal loan forgiveness, which is $179,000. So I hope this doesn't, there are ways to work this out if um, there's a, without increasing, without increasing maybe the cost for, for uh, your department. And, and you know, I'm not talking about the amount. I am, I, am, I am not talking about the amount. I'm sure that that can be, you know, worked out. And as to what Catherine is saying is that, yes, it was probably presented. I wasn't there at the time, and Mr. Nichols was probably there. And you may be right, but I wasn't there. But when an article comes before the people and it's voted down, it's not something that I believe the electric department, whether it be two years ago, three years ago, or today, that we would keep on the books and even think about it. It's been, it's, you know, it's, it hasn't passed in the last couple of years. So that's not something that we would even, you know, think about. So Mr. Nichols passing it on to Steve or, you know, is not something that was done. Or if we even have all that paperwork because once the article was defeated two years in a row, why would we keep it? Not even because, thinking because that it... documentation is our friend, and, and I've been teased about <laughs> using that. She but when you, do that have, when you do have the documentation and you have it on file, you can go back and retrieve it and refresh your memory or you can start afresh. This is, this is, this is very valuable when I was on Conservation Commission. I, and I'm not saying it wasn't, Catherine, but it but, didn't, it but didn't like, fall through the it, cracks. It, it, it's just that... Maybe it is there, but... It could be there, and maybe you go back to the office and find it. But, I mean, we can go back for... I, 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 I hate myself. Yeah. Yes, I'm not going um, to... We can go back and forth. I think this was, a, this was not... I didn't even consider it myself, because I have sat through all these meetings, uh, not as a select board member, but as a member of the public, or as speaking, representing... Um, you know, listening for the Conservation Commission. So this, I was very aware of all this stuff. This could just be me. And people operate and handle things differently. But this is why the value of documentation comes in. Because then you can retrieve your files and refresh your memory. Or realize you do not have these files. And re-establish re some dialogue. So this is where you do need to work together. And I think we all, I think we can work from this. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Well, Kathleen, you've been very good for us. Thank you, Kathleen. Look, all of our I know, yeah. I'm sure people oh. already know that. Right? Okay, are there any other questions? Uh, anything on Article 2? Okay, then let's move on. Are there any questions in the audience? We've gone through just about the whole budget, I think. And as Fran said, if you look at the Warren Articles, you'll notice that they decreased them this year to try to save money. And the department heads were really helpful this year too. They worked with the select board and with the budget committee.
Is there anything else for the public hearing? There being nothing else, I will close the public hearing at 6.58 p.m.